Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I don't recall how this article came to my attention, but running Android on Raspberry Pi sounds like an intriguing idea. The article refers us to this mteria.com website. It seems much more than just an operating system. It is more importantly a remote device management platform. So I'm excited to see this in action. The link at the top of the page takes us to this tutorial, Run Android on Raspberry Pi. It informs us that Raspberry Pi Imager already supports imaging this Mteria OS. There's a lot of other supporting information here. Let's go into Raspberry Pi Imager. Select the Raspberry Pi 5. Under Operating System, look for Freemium and Paid For OS. Under Android by Amteria, select the image, Android 14, RPi 5. Android by Amteria is also listed for Raspberry Pi 4 as well. Let's choose our storage and go ahead and burn that image. While we're waiting, I already registered on the Amteria site. You register by clicking on Start for free. This gives you access to three Mteria license keys for free. They refer to their installer, but we don't need that as the Raspberry Pi imager is already on the job. At the bottom, it says onboard your devices and manage them remotely. I received my activation code in my email. Let's copy it and return to the Mteria portal. Click on redeem voucher in the console Paste the activation code here and click OK. Now we see the license codes are available in the console. We can manage the view and also manage the device groups and license assignments. The console is beckoning me to onboard a device. All right, Raspberry Pi Imager has finally finished burning the Mteria Android image to the TF card. Let's remove the card and install it into my Raspberry Pi 5. Here's my setup. I have this portable monitor, wireless keyboard and mouse. Make sure to check out this video where I review this metal case for the Raspberry Pi 5. And in the background is my AGP Tech video recorder to capture all of the action. Now I'm cropping and compressing the video as some of these steps take a long time. Out of the gate, I encounter this error, but you know, I must press on. Please wait, the system is getting ready. Writing configuration. The logo screen goes by. Select the language. I didn't make any changes under keyboard setup. Next, we set the time zone. The date the time format, and the time. Now we connect to the Wi-Fi network, turn Wi-Fi on, select the Wi-Fi network, and enter the password. There, now Wi-Fi is connected and we can go back to setup. Here we activate the Mteria OS. I enter the username and passwords that I registered on the Mteria portal. We have to confirm that we want to assign this license code to our Raspberry Pi 5. Once it is assigned, it cannot be unassigned or transferred to another device. There, activation of the Mteria OS is completed. Under Extra Options, we didn't configure any customizations in the portal, so this error is understandable. Accept the terms and conditions. And now it's time to reboot. Now remember, I am cropping and compressing for time's sake. Oh my, I guess I'll have to research this error in the FAQ, but I must press on. I didn't notice any ill effects after that. Now we arrive at the home screen. In Mteria settings, we want to make sure remote management service is enabled. Here I have enabled updates, and here is the schedule. Let's go ahead and check for updates. 
Hey, we are up to date. Clicking into the menu, settings is just the usual Android settings. We have a browser, calendar, camera, clock, contact apps. Amteria Kiosk seems really well suited for remote management. F-Droid is a Play Store equivalent. We confirm our device is activated in Amteria License. Amteria MDM, or Mobile Device Management, confirms we have enabled remote management. Everything looks normal in Raspberry Pi management except the temperature is not registering. Sue Shell looks like we can configure app policies in the Amteria portal. Let's clean up those tabs. I'm going to go ahead and look around at some of the app selections available in F-Droid. Now, I always install Solitaire on my phones and tablets, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't see many Solitaire apps while scrolling through the games, but searching reveals this simple Solitaire collection app. Let's go ahead and install it. Open it, and there's this disclaimer. I play Klondike Solitaire. It teaches me to anticipate opportunities. Yeah, this hand of Solitaire is a bust. So let's go check out our device in the Mteria portal. Log into the portal, and we can see our device is enrolled, online, and compliant with policy. We can see the software and operating system versions that are installed. On the Devices tab, we see a detailed view of devices, license keys, IP addresses, online status, policy compliance, and activation status. Device provisioning is an advanced or premium feature that gives you a lot of control over the device configuration. Management starts at the device group level. In each group, we can see the devices in the group, configure policy commands, and also add commands to run in the shell. Downloads offers the Mteria OS installers, but we already use Raspberry Pi Imager. Files is an advanced or premium feature that would automatically upload files to the devices in that group. Leave a comment down below, what are your thoughts about Mteria? Running Android on Raspberry Pi? Do you know of any other Android images for Raspberry Pi? Hey, give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.